Nice to see you. Doing okay? Great. So it's obvious from this vantage point that Anthony De Medeiros has a bald spot. Right now he's not as concerned about that as he is this. I'd say about maybe 10 years ago I started to notice the receding hairline. He tried topical solutions, nothing. He considered hair transplantation, but an ugly thought came to mind. Oh, those plugs, those plugs. No more plugs. Plugs are long dead. But since Anthony likes to wear his hair very short, he wasn't keen on the traditional hair transplant. Well, the traditional transplant is one where we actually remove a strip of skin from the back of the head, and then I suture that up. It's an incision that I suture up, and at the end, there's a linear scar that's remaining. It's a very effective method, but not for Anthony. And he almost gave up until he heard about something new, something called neograft. It's less invasive. A people who want to wear their hair very short, that's an ideal population. Here's how it works. It's a machine that automates the ability to remove individual follicular units from the back of the head. So instead of removing any strip or scar, I'm removing individual hair groupings. Anthony had his first graft three weeks earlier. There's no visible signs of the transplant. This particular scar was there before I met him, actually. It was amazing. Uh, the next day, I had uh, a mild rash and no scars, n no scratches. It was just, uh, it was just amazing. So here he is for his second treatment. You can see here, hair transplanted three weeks earlier is already taking root. They will fall out though, and hair will regrow here in a few months. But it's not enough hair. So Dr. Robert Leonard, with the help of his new neograft unit, is once again removing each hair follicle from the back of his head. It's a tedious process, taking quick. hours. You want to take a look at these or a few more? And then he implants these individual hair follicles where they're needed to help fill in his receding hairline. I don't expect any miracles, but it's, in a sense it is. It's kind of, you know, cheating time a little bit. I just would uh, like to get back to where I was maybe 10 years ago. Dr. Leonard says Anthony should see some results in about six months and full results within a year, year and a half. Dr. Leonard says this isn't for everyone. For one, if you're looking for more dense hair growth, the traditional way is the way to go. But for those seeking a less invasive option, and especially for those like Anthony who like to wear their hair very short, it's a great option. Want to learn more? You can log on to turn10.com keyword health. With this special health check done report, Barbara Moore Silva, NBC10 News.